Guys, I'm absolutely fed up and tired of the UFC fucking over the fans and giving us lackluster main events, shitty fight night cards, and not stacking pay-per-views. And that's what this video is going to be about. The UFC continuing to go to the apex in Las Vegas where there's no crowd or you know today there's a crowd of let's say 20 people is giving them an excuse to have shitty fight nights and shitty main events because they know that all they have to do is fit the status quo and they don't have to give a fuck about selling tickets because Amanda Lemos and Jessica Andrade or Holly Holm versus Ketlin Vieira should never be the main event ever. Straight up. Never should be. And I'm not saying women shouldn't fight in the UFC. That's not what I'm fucking saying. I'm saying that 90% of the time, women's main events that aren't title fights, and you know what? You might even put the title fights in there too. 90% of the time, women's main events do not deliver. They just don't. More often than not, in a women's main event or a woman's fight in general, we see two women shadow boxing with not the highest level of technique and or, you know dancing around the outskirts of the, of the cage. That's what we usually see. Shadow boxing, you know, playing it safe, all that bullshit. So my point is, more often than not, they don't deliver and you could be giving these main event slots to other guys who are on the main cards of these fight nights. For example, Amanda Lemos versus Jessica Andrade is the main event for April 23rd. Let's say your friend has a birthday party and you're a hardcore UFC fan and you watch every single UFC fight night, you know? And you know, you're like, okay, well I can miss this one, you know? It's Jessica Andrade and Amanda Lemos, you know, fuck it, I, I'll go out to the party, you know? I'll, I'll stay the night, it's just one fight night, I'll miss it, okay, whatever. Now, let's say Corey Sanhagen and Marab De Velashvili are the main event on a fight night and your friend is a party. You're probably, you're probably trying to go home a little early to see that main event, right? You're probably trying to go home a little early to watch the main card. That's my point. The UFC, whether it's you know some blissful ignorance or they're, they don't give a fuck about growing the sport, they're leaving money on the table and they're not growing the sport. In fact, they're doing the opposite. They're losing people, they're losing viewers. I promise you, nobody is hyped to see Amanda Lemos, nobody is hyped to see Jessica Andrade in a main event. Ketlin Vieira, Holly Holm was made for May. Let's look at this card. Holly Holm, Ketlin Vieira, five rounds. And I guarantee you it's in the apex because there's no crowd and the UFC doesn't have to worry about selling tickets because they know if that was the main event, it wouldn't sell tickets. So the UFC, back to the apex. Yay. Let's see who else is on the card. Santiago Ponzinibbio, Michelle Pereira. That's going to be an all-out fucking war. Why can't that be the main event? I, I know Holly Holm has a bigger name and she has more followers. That being said, she's not really bringing eyes to the sport. I mean... Aside from her family and her coaches, like who's really tuning in to watch Holly Holm? Oh, like who's really turning in to watch Holly Holm? You know what I mean? Like you'll watch Holly Holm if she's on because you're watching the UFC fight nights. But who's tuning in to watch that? Versus Santiago Ponzinibbio versus Michelle Pereira. I guarantee you there would be people that would tune in to watch that main event. Why not give them the main event? I promise you it'll bring more eyes to the fight night. Another thing I want to discuss. Why the... F okay, I'm going to put it this way. I think the UFC is giving out too many contracts on the Contender Series. I just think they are because honestly, a lot of these fight nights are straight up all guys that are on the Contender Series and there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's a great show. I love the show. But this past season, Dana White was giving like five out of six guys. There would be six fights and he'd give five winners out of basically every single uh, fight night on the Contender Series. He'd give five out of the six guys a contract. I mean, like... Is that it? You just got to win to have the contract? Like, why not just have three? I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of guys. And, and, you're, and you'd be absolutely right to say, well, sometimes the best fight nights are composed of guys with small names or who don't have names yet, who are trying to make it big, who are trying to prove a point. They're trying to get onto the scene. I 100% agree with that. I agree with that. But I just feel like these top contenders, these ranked contenders aren't even fighting anymore. Like, where are the Song Yudongs and Sean O'Malley matchups? Where are the Dominic Cruz and Jose Aldo's on a pay-per-view, you know? Jamal Hill, Dominic Reyes, get them on a paper. Here's the thing. The pay-per-views are starting to feel like fight nights. I remember we had fight nights with Tyron Woodley and Colby Covington in the main event. Hamza Chemaev, Gerald Mirashar to open up the card. K-1. 
Kevin Holland versus Darren Stewart on the main card. This is a fight night, keep in mind. Nico Price, Cowboy Cerrone went to war, right? Johnny Walker, Ryan Spann, war, early knockout. That's all on one fucking fight night card. What happened to these fight nights? Yair Rodriguez versus Korean Zombie with Cowboy and Mike Perry when they were popping back in Colorado a few years ago with a big crowd going crazy. Where are these main events and the pay-per-views? Let's go and check out UFC 274 and listen, I love this main event. I love the three top fights in the main card. Rose Namajunas, Carlos Esparza, Tony Ferguson, Michael Chandler, Charles Oliveira, Justin Gagey. Shogun Rua and Ovin St. Food are on the main card. What the fuck? Listen, that's a good fight. It's not a great fight. But why the fuck is that on the main card? That could be on the prelims of a fight night. Back in the day, it would have been, you know? Like, now it would be like, you know, that could be like the co-main event of a fight night. But it shouldn't be. It should, it should be on the prelims of a pay-per-view or, you know, the opening card on a fight night. You know what I mean? I just don't understand it. If I, the UFC matchmakers, why are you guys fucking not trying to grow the sport? You're just shooting yourself in the foot and I guarantee you, I guarantee you if I or a hardcore fan was made a matchmaker, the UFC would grow tremendously faster than it is right now. Because I don't know what these old guys are doing, but they're not putting together the events that we could have. They're just not. And a lot of it is they're not making the matchups with guys that are available to fight. You have, you know, Nathaniel Wood waiting forever. He doesn't know when he's going to fight. A lot of guys, Jack Shore, you know, I wanted Muhammad Makaev. Where are these matchups? I know these guys have fought, but two months ago, basically, like, where are these matchups? You guys need to make good matchups. And I don't know what the fuck's happening, man. So the UFC's pay-per-views are starting to look like fight nights. Back in the days, a lot of these pay-per-views that we're getting, aside from the championship fights, would be fight nights. And the UFC's selling them as pay-per-views. We haven't had many great pay-per-view cards. The last one with uh, Piotr Jan, Aljamain Sterling, Chemayev Burns, and uh, Volkanovski TKZ, that was like a standard pay-per-view, but it stood out this year because we barely get anything like that anymore. And the fight nights need to get better. I, I still will love a lot of the fights on these, on these fight nights, like with, with the women's main events. I'm just saying, why are they the main event? Like, I guarantee you, it's not good for the sport to have them as the main event because you're literally turning people off from watching. Like, you can't sell that. You just can't. You can't. You can't. The only people that are tuning in to watch are people that have already been converted. You want to get new eyes on the sport? Put together Jamal Hill versus Dominic Reyes as a main event. You know, that would be a main event, but like, those are the fucking main events we want. You know, Rakic versus Blahovic, that's going to happen. Thank God. Font versus Vera, that's going to happen. Thank God. That's all I ask. Just, you know, we need new matchmakers. That's all I'm going to say.